Hi FlossTube, I'm Fiona and welcome to my channel, Fiona's Craft Cottage. This is FlossTube number 26 and today is February 18th, 2022. So I hope you are all doing wonderful and have had a fantastic couple of weeks. Um, we are doing all very well. Uh, things are just sort of rolling along. Same old, same old sort of stuff. Um, the weather has been beautiful here in Vegas. We've had um, a really nice January and February pretty much on the whole. Um, which is really nice because when we look at the weather up in Washington it's still very cold and rainy up there so seeing the Sun at this point of the year is a massive treat for us um, <laughs> after our time in the Pacific Northwest um, so uh, what else is new um, it, within the last couple of weeks since my last floss tube I did uh, have an awesome day with Christy um, Java girl um, she is awesome um, I've loved getting to know Christy. It has been a, um, it's been awesome since we've been back in Vegas. We have made some awesome new friends and Christy's one of them. And she of course introduced me to Anna who was also just wonderful. Um, so uh, Christy and I went to Stitches Paradise and she introduced me to two of the ladies from Primrose Cottage Stitches. Um, I love that company. I'm, I'm a huge fan of their designs. Um, and I met Nettie, the mom, and, um, one of the daughters, Katie, she lives here locally. So it was so awesome to meet them. They are such, such sweet ladies. Um, it was so fun to, to meet and talk to them and um, just sort of hang out for a while. Um, hopefully we get a chance to meet the other ladies in the family. Um, I love that it's a family affair and that everybody's there supporting and um, working together and, and that the company has been, you know, such a huge success. So uh, way to go, Primrose. Love you guys. And, um, can't wait to see all the market releases are coming up. Um, they have been giving sneak peeks and did do some reveals this week. So um, I'm super excited about their um, new market releases. So if you have not seen their market releases, go and check them out um, on Primrose Cottage Stitches on Instagram. And they do do quilting as well. Um, since my quilting has sort of been stalled a little bit in the RV, um, I've been really good and not done any quilt shopping. <laughs> it's getting getting a little difficult though because I'm getting an itch to um, get back to to quilting. So, but they, there are two sort of sides of the company: the cross stitch and the quilting. So check them out if you're also uh, <coughs> excuse me if you're also a quilter. Um, so other oh, and we also met um, a lovely lady, Nikki. Uh, she introduced herself to us, um, and it was a pleasure to meet her also. So if you're watching Nikki, it was wonderful to meet you and um, thanks for watching. Um, other than that, um, the girls and I have had a couple of days at the park. That was wonderful. Um, it's nice to be getting out and about a bit more, um, although we're still sort of trying to be careful because of my mother-in-law and um, not wanting to spread any illnesses to her. But um, we are, it's so nice to be out and about and um, doing things with, with the girls outside again. So I do have, oh, let me um, just go over a couple of things um, with my store. Uh, my Etsy store is open again and I thought I would just to give you a quick rundown on the fabric that is still available. Uh, I am still not to the point yet unfortunately to be adding any more um, but I'm trying to sort of work out what I could do in that department. Um, I, I'm not sure what to do other than to find a house. <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> um, but I miss dyeing the fabric for myself and, and to, to put up, so um, I'm kind of itching to do it again. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do there. Rent a, an oven maybe? I don't know. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd just run down what I have in the shop still. Um, there's a piece of uh, 25 count Lugana hot chocolate. Um, just a neutral. It's a smaller piece, um, but uh, awesome neutral color. And the rest are just um, kind of random colors that I, I did as I was dyeing. So this is a 28 count Lugana plum. Sorry, my phone's going off. It's a very pretty purple color. And that was a 28 count. This is a 32 count Jobelin. Uh, this is a wine, sort of a winey color. I think I should have checked the name so that I have on Etsy because I don't remember. But I think this would be called wine. Uh, 
the next one is a 32 count Lugana and this is a cranberry delight back a little bit shows better yeah that's fine so sorry the camera doesn't show the colors as good that's probably been my biggest beef with doing the fabric is trying to get true photos that show the true colors so um, hopefully they show relatively good this is a 28 count linen another plum color Very pretty purpley color and then I have some 40 count linen also um, at the moment that's probably the most I have of the 40 count there's a uh, green color a midnight blue uh, two these are sort of a Christmassy got the green and red with a neutral background then there's a burnt orange kind of kind of it looks brown on camera but it's more of a burnt orange kind of looking color so and that's that's all the fabric that's there so fingers crossed I can work out what to do with that okay and then of course um, I also have the journals available there is a whip journal to organize your whips that kind of went weird there we go uh, the floss tube planner and then the floss tube journal there we go <laughs> uh, these are available in two sizes eight and a half by eleven and five and a half by eight and a half they are full color PDF downloads um, and come with a good chunk of pages. So go check those out. They are available on my Etsy shop. So now onto my FFOs. Um, I have a few little pillows here. So I'm super excited about these. I've been wanting to do pillows like for a year now. So I'm super excited to have these done. Um, the first two are from the Snowball book by Brenda Gervais. Uh, I got two of these stitched this year. The first one is Let It Snow. So these are all of the pillows I've done so far are filled with the uh, walnut husk shell stuff um, which these I did the first couple of pillows I uh, filled at Halloween I was not sure about but I am starting to sort of get a feel for it now you just sort of got to play with it a little bit probably similar to the um, polyfill stuff where you just sort of got to work out if you like them overfilled or a little underfilled I guess um, so I'm sort of working that out so this is Let It Snow, I put the white pom-poms around the edge, the snow fabric, snowflake fabric on the back, I made a little patch. Um, this little uh, pin is from Tom, Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz, that I found at Hobby Lobby, and then I also found these little snow charms at Hobby Lobby also. So, and I'd also like to get a uh, yearly charms. I've seen people with the, like the 2022 or 2021 little charms hanging, so I'd like to get those. The, these two are this one and the other one that I have to show was stitched at the end of last year so they're actually ones that had been finished for a while and then I also have winter wonderland finished the same way just with some white pom-poms around the edging and on the back the same fabric with a little patch and a pin with a little snowflake so really fun to make um, I the, the, these are the first pillows that I've done other than the one I did at Halloween and um, I'm really happy with the way they came out considering I had never done anything like this before so um, and there's so many options on them that um, it's sort of fun playing with them and seeing how you can finish them so that's those two with Winter Wonderland um, the rest are all Valentine's Day finishes the first two I actually stitched last year in 2021 but with my moving and everything that happened last year um, I didn't really do any finishing, like fully finishing. I finished some stuff, but no FFOs. So these are both from um, Hands On Design. These are the free uh, designs that Kathy does um, every year in February for her anniversary. So this one is Love You. 
Um, this is stitched on a 28 count Lugana that I hand dyed. And then on the back it just has some striped gray fabric and I made a patch and then put the pin with some cut little keys on it. So that is that one. And this one I stuffed really, really stuffed it. Um, and then realized, mm, I think I like them a little less stuffed. So that's that one. Lovely. Okay, and then this also is from Hands On Design. This is stitched on 14 count chalkboard Ada. And all of this thread is metallic. I was sort of experimenting with the metallic thread last year a little bit. Oh, there we go. Yay, my camera works today. So, can't really tell in the, on the black fabric. But this is all metallic thread. This may even be, well, I don't think it's glow in the dark, I think it's just metallic thread. Um, I thought these colours would have really popped on the black, but I was a little disappointed they did not. So, lesson learned. Um, and this is sort of, this is actually a flat pom-pom type thing. It's a little different to the fluffy ones that were on the winter finishes. Um, and if I, if you look closely, it's actually wonky. It didn't, I, I messed up a little bit, but although it does look pretty good now, actually, it looks less wonky once I stuffed it. Um, once it was all sewn together, I wasn't taking it apart. It, I thought it kind of added to the cuteness. But now that it's stuffed, you don't really notice it so much. Um, same thing, just some heart fabric. This fabric I got at Joann's. Um, the Tim Holt pins I got at Hobby Lobby and the little keys um, I, charms I also found at Hobby Lobby, a packet of them. So that's that one. Okay, okay the next one is from uh, Cherry Hill Stitchers, Stitchery, Cherry Hill Stitchery, sorry. Um, this was new in February also, and it's a PDF download, so, um, or at least that's how I got it, so I don't have anything printed to show you, sorry. Um, this is stitched on 14 count black Ada. I love how the red and the white really popped on it. And I added just some red ribbon, um, don't look too closely, that's the first time I've ever added ribbon like this. Um, and it's fine, it's good, embrace the imperfection, but, um, I'm hoping it's a bit more even next time. So, so some heart fabric on the back and the patch, the pin and the keys. And this patch I took some felt and took some fabric on it and sewed around it and then stuck it on. Is that showing up? I hope that's in focus, sorry. It's not. So that's that one. And then the last three that I have to show you are from Love Notes by Brenda Gervais. So I stitched Hugs and Kisses and Variations of Key to My Heart. I think that's what this one was called. So, and that's the only ones I've stitched out of that book yet. So the first one is Hugs and Kisses. I love how this one turned out. Super cute. So I just took some fabric, put some rick rack over it. This is a covered button. Thank you, Christy, for your tutorial. I'll talk about that more in a second. So, and then on the back, just added the black heart fabric and then put the patch and the little pin with the keys on it also. So, love how this came out. And covered buttons are so much fun to make. What a rabbit hole that one is. <laughs> um, so, that's really cool. So, and then the last two are the, I think this is Key to My Heart, this one was called. So, I made two smaller versions of the bigger chart. Um, and so I put a little ribbon around there and then added the two covered buttons over there. And then these just have little felt patches with the, the pins and the keys on them also. And these are quite good because when they're standing up you can sit, like I can sit the smaller pillow in front of them. So that works out quite good. I like that. So it's so much fun to make. Um, all of them are stuffed again with the walnuts husk that I found at the pet store in the reptile section. Big bag of it. Um, and this definitely put a dent in my supply. So <laughs> um, you do actually go through, it's a huge, like huge bag. Um, so I was really happy to put a dent in it. I thought I had a life supply of walnut husks there. 
Um, I also found, I also finished this little bee. I'm definitely on a bee kick at the moment. Pillows and bees. So this is called Betty Bee, and it is from just another bee, com a button company, another bee company, really. Another button company. So this is a kit that I found at uh, Stitches Paradise, and they had a bunch of different ones. But um, I was getting some of Primrose Cottage Stitches bee patterns, so I grabbed this one to go with it. So it came with everything. There's a little button on the bottom for a stand. It had the little wings. Yeah. I don't think that's coming into focus. There we go. Thank you. It's got a little tail on the back. And so it's super cute. And then the little buttons up here also. So I love that. I think, he's, I think Betty is adorable. My little stitchy friend now. So she'll be hanging out with my bee designs. So, um, which leads me into two finishes that I have done. They're not FFO'd. Oh, but before I go on with the pill, before I go on with this, uh, I did for the pillows, I did watch uh, quite a few tutorials. Uh, Vonna, uh, Pfeiffer, obviously, um, fantastic tutorials um, and very informative and very well explained. Then I also watched two from Primrose Cottage Stitches. Um, they have two on their floss tube channel, which are fantastic. Um, that's where I actually learned to add the little white pom poms. So um, they make it look extremely easy and give great explanations. So that was awesome. Uh, and I also watched Christy's uh, pillow tutorial on her floss tube channel. And in that video, she goes into doing the covered buttons, little covered buttons, which is a kit that you buy at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Joann's, and it comes with everything you need to um, make the covered buttons. And very easy, very, very quick and easy. And then, sorry, I dropped something. <laughs> um, and also, she shows how to make bows. So I am not a bow, I, I consider myself extremely bow challenged. I, I, I haven't really got a lot of bows. I, if I, they're on my finishes, I've usually purchased them. But I did find, I did finish one that I intended to use but never did. So you may see more bows on my stuff now. So thank you Christy, it was an awesome tutorial and thank you Primrose and Vanna for taking the time to do those tutorials so that we can make awesome things with our stitches. So um, I do have a couple of finishes and then I can show whips. So the first finish I have is Summer uh, Bumblebee Kisses by Primrose Cottage Stitches. Yeah, I got it right. Okay, just making sure I had the right one. And so that's this one. And these stitch up so very quickly. I All of the designs by Primrose I have found stitch up really quickly and are really enjoyable to work on. Um, and this is stitched on a white 25 count Lugana. Um, all of the colors except for this blue um uh, they're called four colors and i should have written it down the cold four for the blue was 3813 and i went a couple of shades darker and i should have pulled that out i'm sorry christy and i spent quite a bit of time in hobby lobby deciding what colors we were going to use on this and um i decided to go with the darker blue and I will try in my next boss tube to remember what color to mention what color that is because uh, I will actually keep it uniform for all of them at this point. And then the other one is Kind Words. Actually, no, sorry, I can't put my hands on it. Sorry, I think it's here somewhere, really close. Is here. Hmm? See, that's the really good thing about being in an RV. Everything's with arm shot. So I used so the cold four color was for the blue color was three eight thirteen, and I used three eight sixteen. So just it was just a little bit darker. So there we go. <laughs> so I won't have to remember now. So the blue 
is the only color I changed. And I'll keep it the same for all of them. I know there's one more design that has already been released and then more coming with the new market releases. So this is Kind Words. So again, really fun to stitch and really quick. I think both of these took like an afternoon and like two afternoons or an afternoon and an evening and the next night, that sort of thing. So I started it one day and pretty much finished the next day. Not all day, but you know, late afternoon, evening is usually when I get most of my stitching done. Um, and sometimes a little bit in the morning when the girls, if they're still sleeping in or whatever. So that's the two from Stitches from Primrose. And then my little bee to go with those. Then I also finished a whip, which I'm super excited about because I sort of want to get these finished this year. Uh, as many whips, like old, old whips as I can. So this is Glitter Village, um, house number two. Excuse me. My camera is, there we go. It's that. And so this I started in Jolly July of 2019. Um, it is stitched on a 14 count oatmeal. Um, and I used the call for DMC colors and there's gold in the trees that actually shows up so when I first started stitching these I loved it on the oatmeal I don't know why but um, I didn't stitch on it for a while and then I got them back out and I do not like it on oatmeal anymore at all <laughs> the white doesn't show up as much as I would like so I have finished one other one of the houses on the same fabric that I just turned into a little pillow um, actually, I think I did do actually did that last year or the at the end of maybe the end of 2020. I did that one um, just to play around with it. Um, so if I do any more of these in the future, I would definitely use maybe a gray or something like that. But I'm happy to have this done, um, and probably won't use oatmeal a whole lot anymore because I'm just finding I'm not enjoying it so much. Um, I just don't like how the white shows up on it. So, and the other whip I have been working on is So Happy. This one was started last year. And I got one of the, one, only one? Yeah, I got one of the P's filled in. So everything else was done, all the lettering, the outlining was done, and then I filled in the P down here. So not a lot, but a little bit. And every little bit helps. So we'd love to get this one finished maybe during March. Once I get the letters filled, I just have the border and the sewing machine to do. So hopefully I can get that done relatively quickly. Um, I'm running out of room. Okay, so, and then this is new. I think I started this month. Um, this is Blathering, Gathering Snowflake. Sorry, I should have showed you this by Luminous Fiber Arts. And this is how much I have done. This is being stitched on 32 count Lugana and it's got a um, opalescent. So I don't know if you're seeing the sheen. You might see it a little bit there. But I love that it's got a sheen in this one. I, I kind of equate it to him being in a little bit of a snowstorm there. So I just have another bird off here to do and then the snowflakes and he will be done. So but I love this one for some reason. I think that snowman is so cute. So, and then this will get turned into a pillow, pretty much similar to what's on here. I think I'm just gonna do some blue edging, um, ribbon edging and call it done. So that's those two. Now I have made some progress. I have three um, designs that I kind of consider my yearly, my yearly ones because it's gonna take all year to do them. The first one is Black Vintage, vintage Sampler. I had stitched on this one a bunch and then kind of got a little burnt out on it. But I have officially finished the first page. So like that section in here. Um, and I love stitching it. So that is that one done so far. So I love it. It's, it's awesome and I love stitching on it. It was really fun to pull it back out and finish the house. 
So the last time you saw it, everything would have been done, but like some of the house. And that's all done. So time to start page two. And then my other yearly one is Vintage Housewife by Laurie Holt. And I have started the February. Where'd it go? <laughs> it's all folded up in there. So I've started the second block for February and done the outline of the oven that I just need to fill in. So that is that one. And I am stitching this on 25 count Lugana and using the cold for DMC colors. So. You can actually see a little bit of the white around the outside there too. So that won't take long to fill in actually, that's stitched up pretty fast. So I'll get that done and get started on the March square. And then the last one is another last yearly one that I figure I'll be working on all year is Flea Market Baskets, also by Laurie Holt. Um, and so far so January and February were this square in here. However, so I finished January's and then I did the border and, hang on, am I got this the right way? I did, sorry. Um, and have started on the, the February section in here. So, and those stitched up pretty fast, so it won't take long to finish that. And so I am actually doing this differently. Um, I will not stitch like the whole thing. I'm gonna do this. When this is done, oh, let me put it up the right way. Um, so when this is done, that's all I'm doing on this. This will be like, I do not have enough fabric to do anything else. <laughs> that's it. Um, and this will get turned into a pillow. So that'll be separate by itself. Then I'm going to take these sections here, the little quilted sections and do them um, also by themselves just separately and then I'll do some of these ones and do those separately and um, just have a bowl a dough bowl for some quilted stitching to go in my quilt room one day again so love this I just with the, all of the other ones for the year um, I wasn't going to do this one but I love it Anything Lori Holt I love, so um, everything and anything, her, her eye for colour is amazing. So, um, but, so I'm just going to do something a little different with this one. So, and excited to see how it looks at the end, So, because um, I'm sort of working it out as I go along. So that is all of my stitching for the last couple of weeks. Um, and I will probably just sort of keep going with the the yearly ones I'll get whatever needs to be finished for February and then keep working on my sampler um, would really like to get this Lori Holt one done um, and then pull a couple another couple of whips out but so that's sort of my plan for the next couple of weeks um, I would like to finish the B um, finishes that I have but the fabric that I want is in storage so I don't know if I'll get a chance to go and rummage through my pods to find my fabric or not. Um, anytime I want something out of my pods, I've sort of got to work out at what we've got like two 16 foot pods in storage and I've got to work out where those might be. If they're near the front, I can get them. If they're in the back, I, I there's no way I can crawl back and find it. They're, they're packed. <laughs> so it's kind of frustrating to know I have fabric that I can't get to or use, but um, it is the way it is. So we'll see. I'm I, cause Primrose has one more that I, has already been released that I haven't done and then they have definitely two or three other bee ones um, being released also so I'd love to stitch them all and, and have a, an awesome little bee display. So um, I've been looking for bee, bee designs to stitch now for a couple of years and, and these ones I love so yay! So um, I have a little bit of haul, I've been good, um, I just feel I have enough whips going and, and enough going right now I'm trying to keep my new starts and everything kind of low. If I'm doing a new start, I'm going to keep it small. Um, hopefully every time I say I'm not going to do something, something happens, somebody releases something and I find something else to start. So um, you got to start everything, I guess. I don't know. So um, but I've been good so far through January and February. Um, 
the only things I've really purchased are the two first things for down on the farm. Um, January and February and March is about to get released. Um, I haven't started this yet and I also have plans to do this differently also. I'm not going to stitch everything and I'm not going to do it in a square. Um, it's going to be one long piece and I will stitch all of the house but I'm not going to stitch all of this. I'm actually just going to do the cart. So I know it sounds a bit weird but hopefully by the end of the year um, it'll make sense. <laughs> Another one I'm sort of working it out as I go along but I love these this series, I just didn't want to stitch the big square, trying to keep things sort of small for myself this year. So we'll see how those go. Um, my youngest daughter, McKinley, has been stitching a little bit. Um, with it being so nice outside with the weather, as soon as the weather got nice, she wanted to go outside and play with her friends. So, um, But she has been stitching and she went with me one day to Stitches Paradise and picked this out because she loved this shell. And she thought she could stitch that up easily enough as a beginner. So of course we'll see how she goes with this. Um, hopefully even with as the weather get uh, as the weather gets warmer she might find herself inside a lot more um, and stitching so we're just sort of gonna take that. I'm trying to encourage her but not force her obviously but um, just sort of have fun with it. So we'll see how that goes. And then also this one I've had for a while but I found it in my stash the other day. It's a beehive. Um, that I will sew and make so um, and I don't think I had shown it on floss to before so hopefully in the next couple of weeks I can finish this up so because I love it and I'm all about the bees at the moment so which um, I did find some haul uh, some fun things yesterday at Walmart actually so this was in their spring seasonal section and then I also found this little cutie so it is like, oh, maybe it is plastic. Maybe it's plastic. <laughs> but it looks cute, so um, I thought that was fun. And then just recently at Hobby Lobby, I did find these two signs. Let it be. Love that. And then be humble, be kind. This was at, oh, is it showing? There we go. So this one I found at a different Hobby Lobby that I hadn't been to before. So I have I have three Hobby Lobbies pretty close to me, so it's a little dangerous. Um, and then I also found Honey Bee Lane. Sorry. So at my regular Hobby Lobby. So that was awesome. Love the little bee things that are just creeping in and that I can still have them around the RV. Big Rexy gets decorated whether he likes it or not. So Big Rexy is the RV, just in case you're not familiar. That's what we call our RV. Um, because it's a Rex hole is the brand, so Big Rexy. Um, <laughs> he is affectionately he, she, we're not sure about that part. But Big Rexy has uh, got some few spots where I can sort of put a few displays, so that's been a lot of fun. So I think that is all that I have to show you today. Hopefully this video saves properly. I'm still having a few issues with my computer and trying to work out recording. So fingers crossed I can get this finished and posted. Um, otherwise it'll probably wait until next week again. Um, so that's it. That's it. So again, if you have watched this all the way through, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate people spending their days watching my floss tubes and um, commenting and liking and subscribing. Um, please do all that stuff. Apparently there's been a few changes with uh, YouTube. Um, in order to get your notifications now, you need to um, not only subscribe, but also do the little bell thing. Um, so I, I think that's new in, in the recent recentness um, with changes they've made, I'm not sure. But not only do you need to subscribe, but also hit the button to get the notifications for when I post new ones. I'm hoping they will be more regular now that things have sort of settled down for us. and. Um, sort of back onto a normal sort of way of living <laughs> as normal as we can be um so thank you again so much have uh, a wonderful weekend um president's day on monday so a long weekend for us so i hope you all enjoy a long weekend here in america um and wherever you are have a great weekend and stay safe and have fun happy stitching bye